Good morning, everyone. I'm Rosemary, and today I'm going to be taking you through a short yoga qigong mashup. If you don't know qigong, it's similar to tai chi. It's an ancient Chinese movement practice designed to enhance health and spirituality. Today, we primarily use it to help us reduce stress. And I can definitely use that, particularly at this point in time. Unlike Tai Chi, Qi Gong is not nearly as structured or precise with the movement. The primary thing is you want to have slow, controlled, flowing movements, and you want to coordinate that with the breath. Don't worry if your movement patterns don't look like mine. That is not important. You want to find a movement that is comfortable for you, that's within your base of support, so you don't want to get too far away from your center of gravity or outside of the center of gravity, and then just breathe with the movement. So let's give it a whirl. Okay, everyone, stand with your feet about hip width apart. Soften your knees and gently tilt the pelvis into a neutral position. Lift the chest, pull up by the crown of the head, and tuck the chin slightly so you have a nice long neck. And roll the shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Oh, that is feeling good today. Drop at the low point, navel to the spine, inhale, reach up. As you exhale, one arm comes down, lift up on the diagonal, then inhale, arms come back, exhale, pull down through the heart center. And repeat that on the other side, stretch, overhead reach, inhale, up, and exhale, one down. Inhale, up. slightly into a more of a horse stance. So your feet are wider, they're angled out slightly to the corners of the wall, and you have nice soft knees. And we're going to start off with sinking the chi. Chi in qigong refers to the life force or life energy. And one of the main goals of qigong is to remove any blockages to the flow of qi through the body. Inhale up, and then exhale, let the arms go down. And again. Very nice. Turn the feet parallel. 
big coat with long sleeves. Just let them wrap around your back and gently tap the spine. is embracing the mood. Arms forward, inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round, scoop the abs, stretch out the lower back. Inhale, each time you come forward, the opposite arm comes across. Keep the shoulders down. So don't allow them to come up here by the ears. Bigger. 
here. So lead with the elbow and then rotate looking to the back. Elbow, look back. Elbow, look back. Elbow. imaginary chair. For this exercise, the starting position is feet about hip width apart. You start with a hip hinge. So let the hips flex and move towards the back. Let the weight sink into the heels. Only go down as far as you are comfortable and always work in a pain-free zone. Bring the arms up by the ear and hold. to a race back position, squeeze your shoulder blades together, arms swing forward, strong core, navel to the spine, now fold over and roll, excellent, back in that imaginary chair, let those hips go back, nice hip hinge, Race dive position. Squeeze the shoulder blades, tuck the chin, long neck, arms swing forward. And fold down. And roll up. You're going to have an option next time on the imaginary chair. You can come up on the toes. Now, if you need support, get a chair or use the wall, as I will be doing. Starting with the imaginary chair, sit back. If you need support, get it and rise up on those toes. Excellent. Race dive position. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Arms swing forward. Hold and roll. Ah, very nice. Next up, grasping the bird's tail. This position is similar to Warrior Two, but not nearly as wide or as deep. So you need to be able to put your weight on that back leg and lift the front toe off of the mat. And then you need to be able to lunge forward. It's not a large lunge, but you want to be in a position such that the knee is not jutting past the toe. So play with that a little bit. Get that going. Lunge in front, back. starting position. Whenever you're ready, add the arms.
Next up, a bow and arrow. It's similar to grasping the bird's tail. But in this movement pattern, you want to pull, like you're pulling a bow back, arms come forward, and then you shift the weight and come around to the other side. Pull the bow. between the shoulders and the ear. You don't put your shoulders up like this. Press down. Now in this position, you don't want to just be stagnant. You want to energize your legs. Think of drawing the legs together. And rotate. Look over that front arm. Inhale, reverse layer. Exhale, modified side angle pose. Inhale, come up, reverse warrior. And exhale. Now, take the arm straight up and the other arm down. Listen to your body. If you can go down further, that's fine. Otherwise, stay up here in a nice, safe position. And come up to a standing position. Forward fold down. Widen the stance if you need to. Hands on hips. Nice flat back as you inhale. Back up to the starting position. All right, let's switch over to the other side. Start in the wide stance. Your other toe rotates facing the end of the room. Slide that back foot back and rotate in slightly. Arms come up, shoulders press down. Think of pulling that front hip back and squeezing those thighs together. So you want to energize your legs and your glutes. Holding here. Draw the navel to the spine. Don't let your abs just hang out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, modified side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Wind the stance if you need to, and a nice forward fold. Hands on the hips, nice flat back. Inhale, maintaining that nice flat back. Very good. Next up, a standing balance series. If you need an assist, go hold on to the wall or get a handy dandy chair. Okay, let's start with tree pose. Start with a foot down by the ankle. Now, if you don't need the chair, that's fine. But if you do or you feel unstable today, just try to lightly rest the hand on the chair. Now, pull the leg up to a position that's comfortable for you. Your foot is pressing against the leg and the leg is pressing back. to rotate towards the chair that gives you a little more stability. And 
and then let the weight sink back. Keeping balance, bring those hands in, down on that leg. Excellent. Now, a quad stretch. If you can't reach down and get your foot comfortably, grab a hold of the bottom of your leggings or your socks or your shoes. Okay, like so. Pull the heel up towards your glutes. Think of keeping those thighs close together. Soften your support leg and come forward if you want into dancer's pose. Excellent. All right, let's repeat those balances on the other side. Starting with tree, start low. You need to get your body weight over that leg, one leg, because that's what you're going to be balanced on. So your center of gravity needs to be right over that leg. And then pull that leg up if you want. Your foot is pressing against the leg, the leg is pressing back. Arms come out or overhead. One leg over and sit back. That is such a wonderful stretch for the glutes. Again, if you can balance, take those hands off of the chair, but if you're unsure of that, Maintain contact, at least. I don't want you to fall over. I didn't want to fall over either. All right, going into the quad stretch. Again, if you can't grab that foot, grab hold of your socks or the bottom of your leggings, or just use your hamstring muscle to flex the knee and draw it up towards the glutes. Soften the support leg. Keeping the chest lifted, come forward if you want into dancer's pose. And coming down. Excellent. Next we're going to do some work on the floor. I want you to start in a table position. Hands on your shoulders, knees on your hips. If this position bothers your wrist, make a fist and keep that wrist nice and neutral. Alternately, you can get a dumbbell and hold on to the dumbbell, which will also help you maintain a neutral wrist position. Starting with cat and cow. Exhale, squeeze the glutes, Rotate the pelvis under, round the spine, scoop the abs, and drop the head. Inhale, lengthen. You can extend or arch the back if that is pain-free for you. However, you always want to work in a pain-free zone. Exhale, scoop and round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, scooping around. Exhale, lengthen. Let's do one more of those. They're feeling really good on my low back. Exhale, scoop around. And then inhale, come to the neutral position. Tuck your toes under. Lift the hips. Shift some of the weight onto those arms. Frog pose. And then Press back into downward facing dog. Bend the knees as much as you need to to maintain a neutral spine. 
and come back down into your frog pose. Keep those elbows nice and soft, and then press back, downward facing dog. And frog pose, let's do one more round of these. And then press back, downward facing dog. Walk your hands slightly forward. Come into high plank. Now when you're doing a plank, you want to avoid letting that low back sag. Pull those abs up. Tuck your chin. Have that long neck. And hold. Soften the elbows. Try to avoid locking out the joints. Lower the knees down. Release the toes. Lower the upper body, and then push up into Cobra, our Upward Facing Dog. Draw the navel to the spine, squeezing your glutes, keeping the elbows bent. Inhale and come up, let the hips sit back in child's pose. Now in this position, be careful of the knees. This is called hyperflexion and it can put pressure on the knee joint. So always listen to your body. And then come forward, tuck the toes. Pull those abs up. Long neck, soft elbows. Knees come down, release the toes, lower down, and then press up. Again, don't let those abs hang out. Think of drawing the navel to the spine, squeezing the glutes. And lift up. Let the hips come back. Child pose. Staying down and just doing a modified cobra, please do that. And lift up, press back, child's pose. Excellent. Rolling over onto the back. Just a short relaxation. Ah. Ah. Let your arms come out to the sides. Try to relax your hands. Feel a wave of relaxation coming over the body. And as it passes over, feel those muscles relaxing. Starting with the forehead, down into the cheeks, the jaws, and the neck, where we hold so much tension. The shoulders and the upper back. Relax those arms, the hands and the fingers. As that wave of relaxation moves down the body, feel your spine relaxing. Your abdomen, the thighs, your legs, your feet, and your 
toes. Shifting the focus to the breath. As you breathe in, feel the rib cage expand, the diaphragm contract, and as the chest cavity expands, oxygen diffuses into your lungs. And then exhaling. As you inhale, you can think of allowing the abdomen to rise. And then as you exhale, think of squeezing the toothpaste from the tube, starting with that abdomen all the way up. there is an area in your body that needs special attention, send that ball of positive healing energy to that area. Lift up by the crown, arms come out to the side, sinking the chin. Palms come together, exhale. Namaste, enjoy that. I hope you feel totally de-stressed and relaxed. Thank you for joining me.